On today's video, we are reacting to the most popular chef in the world, Gordon Ramsay. Now, there is one thing that I love almost as much as steaks, that would be burgers. I cannot wait to see what he does with his. With all that being said, enough talking, let's begin. Right, uh, welcome home. I'm gonna show you how to make the most amazing burger. And for me, the secret of burger is in the blend. So we've got chuck, we've got the most amazing ground beef, a little bit of brisket. I am in 100% agreement of that. If you make your own blend for your burgers, it's going to be so much better, everybody, instead of buying it directly from the grocery store. Now, obviously, for convenience, you can go ahead and purchase it from it. But if you want to have the best possible burger, making your own blend and grinding everything yourself, you have full control of everything. And most important, it will allow you to eat that burger medium rare. Because if you buy it from the grocery store, you have no idea where it comes from and you want to cook it well done. Try and get this done the day before. You get this done the day before, set them in the fridge so they stay nice and firm. That way they don't fall apart on the grill. That's a great tip, making them a day before. That way they're nice and firm and they don't completely fall apart. Gordon has a master chef named Elliot and he has a very unique technique, which is putting ice inside of a burger. And I'll tell you one thing, when you do that, it becomes so soft, the burger barely keeps it together. So putting it on the refrigerator first, keeping it nice and compact, great tip. Grill, piping hot. A little touch of oil on the burger to start off with. This is a beautiful grapeseed oil. Make sure it's seasoned. Also, roll the seasoning around the edge of the burger. Now, I want you to notice one thing that he just said. You want the grill piping hot. 99% of people make a huge mistake whenever they're cooking on a gas grill, and this is the reason why. They turn on every single burner to put the grill super hot. When you do that, you have no control of the grill, and this is the biggest mistake. Never have one zone, which is a hot zone and nothing else. You must always cook it with two zones. You have one that is extremely hot and one that is your safety net. Never turn on every single burner on hot. Once you put a burger on the grill, the secret is to move it as less as possible. The more you move it, the more chance you've got a break in the burger. That is such a great tip. He's absolutely right. Don't want to move it immediately right away because the burger will completely fall apart. And yes, you want to start with the hottest part of the grill so that you can get that sear nice and quick. Alongside my burger, I'm going to be toasting the buns. Why do we toast the buns? We toast the bun because there's nothing worse than the soggy bun. How many times you had a burger and the bun is wet? Oh, he's so right. That's so nasty, everybody. You want a nice, nice bun that it's crispy on the top. And I highly recommend using a little bit of butter to toast it. Toast your buns, very important. Quick in, toast those buns. What goes well with the burger? Great cheese, tomato, lettuce, a little bit of mustard mayonnaise, and then these beauties here, grilled onions. Peel the onion, slice them. Bingham, that's a thick onion. Lightly season them, salt, pepper. Wow, I love Fresh how he seasons everything. Burger. I've never seasoned my onions, everybody. I'm a firm believer in toasting both sides of my bun, <laughs> top and bottom. You got a little bit of flare-ups over there, everybody. Flare-ups is actually okay. A lot of people think that it's not okay. It produces an incredible flavor. What that is, is just basically fat going down to the bottom on the heat source and creating flames and flavor, perfume, and deliciousness. It is fantastic for a steak and also incredible on a burger. Now, look at that bun. Beautiful. Turn these bun beauties over. Wow. That looks amazing, Chef Gordon. That looks incredible. I'm just gonna say that right now. A busy grill is a delicious grill. I agree 100%. A busy grill is a delicious grill. You don't cook the burger and then set it up for dressing. You get set up first. So while the burger's cooking, you get everything done first. It's a really important tip. Why? It stops the burger going cold, and also you want to eat it when it's piping hot. 100% agree. Have all your missing plus done either before or as it's happening, everybody. Now, at my burger restaurant in Las Vegas, we based the burgers with Devonshire butter. That is an amazing tip. I do that as well, everybody. Basting your patties with thyme, butter, and garlic is absolutely delicious. It literally reminds you of eating a steak when you're tasting the burger. It's incredible. Today, we're just going to lightly brush a bit of butter onto the burgers. With that flame underneath, it sort of caramelizes the butter. Yes! 
He said it. Most people don't say that. What that happens is whenever you're basting, what you want is the caramelization of the butter. You want the milk solids to stick to the burger. It just produces an incredible flavor. That's what you want. Now, you want to become even more. Oh my God, that looks so good. Make your red wine butter, a Chipotle butter. This is the basic. Yes. Amazing recipe for a great burger. That is looking amazing. But before moving forward, let's go ahead and talk about today's sponsor, Air Up. With the holidays right around the corner, Air Up is the perfect holiday gift. Why, you might ask? Well, let me explain. Air Up is a brand new hydration system that flavors water through scent. With a unique system they call Scent Based Taste. How it works is simple. Pop on a flavor pod, lift the pot to activate it, and just drink. What you will taste is delicious flavored water because that's what your brain thinks you're drinking. I know it sounds crazy, but it actually works. Personally, I struggle to drink enough water throughout the day. Normal water gets boring, but with AirUp, I find myself enjoying drinking tasty water and staying hydrated. And maybe you have loved ones that might feel the same way. So why not give them a gift with taste? Check them out on the link below and save up to 30% off with AirUp's holiday bundles. Start your holiday shopping early, only for a limited time. Thanks AirUp for sponsoring this video, but now back to the burgers. Look at the color of those burgers. Notice how there's no shrinkage there because we've got the right amount of fat in there. I did not know that everybody because if you have the right amount of fat it doesn't shrink i don't think that's actually true because i cook a lot of burgers and a lot of times i use it to be smashed though and then it kind of shrinks but that's an interesting take i did not know that i just learned something new now before they come off the grill lightly season them on the grill look he seasoned those burgers twice. I love that. If you want to have a nice, incredible steak and a nice, incredible burger, season them properly, everybody. Most people lose this step, and it's so crucial for something tasty. 30 seconds before those burgers come off, I'm going to put my nice, beautiful, rich cheddar cheese on top. Cheddar Sorry. cheese, nice. On. Let's go there. Cheese on, on, on. Remember, we season underneath that, so the flavor inside is gonna be incredible. First off, a little touch of mayonnaise. This ingredient is actually controversial. Do you enjoy mayo or no, everybody? Put it in the comments down below because I love mayo. From there, take your lettuce and just lightly snap the lettuce, break that in half, and sort of manipulate the lettuce where it sits, literally, on your bun. That way it's not gonna get soggy. I agree. From there, a nice slice of tomato. He seasoned everything. He's not gonna season the vegetables? I'm surprised. Salt and pepper on that tomato. Lightly yes. season it. Beautifully done. And look, here's where it goes up a level. Look at that cheese. That, come on, seriously? Beautiful. On she goes. How do we elevate it even more? How do we take that to another level? Look at these. Come on, seriously. I mean, freshly grilled onions oh. to absolutely die for. Oh, can, can you take a look at these little crispy onions edges, a little char? Oh my God, I will eat the crap out of that. That looks amazing. Wow, I'm very impressed. Be generous with those onions. There. I'm not a big fan of raw onion on a burger. Yes, me neither. I don't like the taste of just straight up raw onions. If I do need to use it like in tacos or anything like that, I even give a light rinse, everybody, to take out that onion bitterness. Look at this. Slice, 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 slice. Let's see. Down. Is it raw in the middle? Is it raw? Come on, chef. Take half of one. And then look. Perfectly cooked. I mean, I have nothing bad to say except one thing. Stop roasting me, Chef Gordon Ramsay. Why do you keep roasting me every time? I have so much respect for you, but I would love to cook you a peanut butter steak or maybe a Nutella steak or the one that you love the most, mac and cheese steak. That one was really delicious. Remember what you said? Oh, look at that, looks like my granddad's slipper. I learned a lot from this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, hit that thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to subscribe and we'll see you guys on the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.